Hey, what's happening everyone? Today, I bring you the training from Friday the 13th, spooky, and Saturday the 14th. So on Friday, got off work, there was a little party, we call it Friday Night Lights, at the CrossFit gyms I coach at. It's a great time. We lift weights, we drink beers, we eat cheeseburgers. I mean, it doesn't really get any better than that. It's pretty freaking awesome. So I go in, I train. I wanted to set a new one rep max on my strict press. Uh, one or two, or maybe even just like a handful of you, or maybe just one dude, I don't know, has been asking about what my strict press, my overhead press is at. Because uh, I've been doing a lot of incline, I hit like a 295 incline, and uh, I hadn't really shown you guys many times what I can do strict. So that right there was 225, that ties my prior one rep max on the strict press, the overhead press, the standing shoulder press, all the different names that that flipping exercise goes by. I wanted to break that PR, so this is 230, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen, gets stuck about eye level. And, you know, I think I started a little bit inside my head too much and to psych myself out for a new PR. Uh, I didn't begin tight, and when I say tight, I mean you're squeezing every muscle from your arm hits down. This force moves like water. Whenever you apply force, it's gonna go into path of least resistance. And if you aren't tense from your shoulders down, your armpits down, if you ain't squeezing every muscle below that bar, guess what's going to happen? You're going to try to lift the bar and something's going to give underneath it, especially in the strict press. So after that failure on the strict press, I was like, you know what, I'm going to get a few squats in. I just wanted to do some high bar, no belt, breathing pause squats, taking a playbook, or rather taking a play, out of the playbook from Greg Knuckles and he wrote a recent article about this put a video up he's a good friend of mine awesome dude very knowledgeable and can squat like 700 pounds or some crazy shit so the high bar no belt pause squat with 405 is pretty good uh, I had done them once or twice before at that weight but still it's a hell of an exercise uh, I do see myself incorporating those a little bit more but not not nearly as much because I do find that the pause squat, especially in frequency, will tear my knees up. And I'm not sure exactly why that is, but it's just something I've noticed. So the the, the pause squat, however you say that word, pause, 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 squat. Pause squat is a, a good tool to have in your toolbox, but for me personally, if I use it too much, I kind of get kind of get wore out. Got to file a claim with OSHA. This is Saturday. You guys seeing me get into the heaviness on this bench, the 350 right there. I'm going back to my competition bench. I just wanted to see if I can get like a new double. No. Again, a failure. What is this? Why is Cody failing all these reps? Well, you guys, sometimes you gotta fail to just get a little bit of perspective. And that second rep, I failed the 350 and I was very confident that I, with my competition grip, touch and go, I could probably double 350. I was very confident, but it didn't happen. It was hot in the gym, I was tired, maybe too much caffeine. I'm not sure, 10,000 excuses aside, I didn't get the second rep and it completely flipped the switch in my head and informed me that, you know what? Gotta change the goal. Went full bro mode from then on, chased that pump with an incline press, which you saw, some curls, some lateral raises, tons and tons of pull-ups. And moving forward from that day, still going to chase the pump. Might do like three weeks of higher reps only stuff. Still undecided. But thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe.